she this is how this is what in my head was going on in the B sector. Yo, we heard that shit. Brianna was saying on Stop Line TV. Oh shit, y'all dropping? You motherfucking right. We dropping the fuck down. That bitch saying some shit about me too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Where we at? We over there. So. I purposely stay off of Brianna because I know a lot of people get on Brianna for her size. But Brianna say a lot of fucked up shit to people, right? And th that's what I'm gonna say. And I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest. And I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all the conversation. Oh, I'm going for that, right? I don't care how much you make joke about something with yourself. It's so it comes to a point that you're comfortable. Fuck it. This is what it is. I had to love this part of me. I'm, I, I'm a victim of that. I just take shit and I would just embody it and use it to my around. Don't feel better. Like listen, da da da. Or you have people that can actually internalize that shit for the worst. And they will constantly put other people down as if they're not that person. And they'll even lie to themselves and say that they're comfortable. Just a serious part of, of, of the commentary. You know, they'll even, although they're internalizing this shit and it's fucking them up, right? Hey, I catch you. But they're just a real fucked up individual. I don't care how much you say. One thing, let me tell you something about when, you, when you're when um, you a bigger woman. Now, I went up to like a size 14, right? And this was um, after I had children. And I hated it. I hated when people would see me because I was always so, you know, petite. They were like, oh my God, you got fat. That hurted me, right? It hurted me. It, I had it on my mouth say, oh my God, girl, you get my dog. So my mom's a big girl. You get my dog. I'm like, what? Like, that shit hurted me. However, my internalized of it, internalization of it, what I did was, I said, okay, I'm going to make this shit better. So I, I worked out like crazy. Like, I worked hard, right? I worked hard, but it's a difference. And there's nothing against a size 14, but when you was a size 2 your entire life, that's that's a problem. When you go go in the stores and actually get sample clothes, sample clothes are there, but certain shit, when you go get certain shit, that shit fucks with you mentally. Like, damn. Like, you be out with your friends, and, and my best friend, she's a model. So, when we go shopping, we can hit the outlets and go crazy when we we'll small. But then it came a, a time when I couldn't do that shit no more. So instead of, I was like, fuck that, I'm getting back. And when I say, yo, I was working out like crazy. COVID hit, it hit me back a little bit. And I got a big back. You know what I mean? I got a little big and shit, right? <laughs> but either way, like literally my picture all over coming like right back. Cause I did, I'll pick my food up, right? So, see, you know what I'm saying, right? I had no problem with you waiting. I really try not to go there with Brianna because I know that's like the easiest go to or whatever. But Brianna has put in her mind that she's, she's trying to, what she's doing is, it's not to convince, convince y'all, it's to convince herself that she pleased with that weight. Brianna dealt with people, I'm talking about her weight her entire life. It's an easy go to, but it still bothers her. So if I tell you, I'm fat, tell me something I don't know. I love all this fatness of me. You know what she's saying? I hate this shit the fuck about me. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm saying this when I, I'm bringing this up, when I go into her. The reason why she is saying this, right, is so that y'all won't make fat jokes about her. It's, it's, she, she's playing some type of mental reverse role. Okay, if I'm telling y'all I'm pleased with myself that this shit don't bother me, then you're going to stop doing it. No, bitch, you're going to get every bit of this don't get high and drag, bitch. But that's what she's doing, right? So, I get it. But when she says, she says when, when I see her go at people like Chad Red, when Chad Red look way fucking better than you, Brianna, like, let's be the fuck real. Uppity nigga, better than you, bitch. She, she speaks better than you. She gives better fucking commentary than you. She's fucking hilarious, bitch. You're not funny. You're boring as fuck. We don't want to hear about your motherfucking, um, that, that fucking food what you the fuck ate. We don't hear about every time you can take your shot, you sick of the fucking stomach. We don't want to, like, we don't want to hear that shit. We don't want to hear you breathing all hard, Pisces. <clears throat> hey, Graham. <clears throat> hey, Indigo. We don't want to hear that shit. We don't want to hear your motherfucking juicy ass sun teeth slapping. And then you talk about people with no teeth. I meant to say this shit. But, bitch, why do you sound like you don't have no teeth? Like, honestly, I'm starting to question the motherfucking whereabouts of your motherfucking teeth to your gums, bitch. Cause that's the size of fat ass motherfucking tongue. Cause if that's the case, you do have a full size fucking tongue, Brianna. Because when you talk, go back to some of those videos when Brianna, go to the videos where Brianna is off screen. And I want y'all to listen to Brianna's speech. Brianna, you go over that bitch neck and mouth in, at night. Sign the fuck is up with your speech. I can't pull that shit the fuck out, right? But you and that motherfucker said, well, uh, j -j well, you know, this doesn't make sense. And if I think that she would, that she would strike me, I would play it to know so people can see. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to minute mark that shit. So y'all literally are like fucking mean girls, right? Y'all mean girls. So, you know you got the fuck dragged out. You so, uh, you tried to do some more reverse psychology shit. And I tried to share me. <laughs> nah, y'all, she dragging my AI baby, y'all. Trying to kick it all, bitch. I was dragging your fat ass. But that wasn't even dragged. Who the fuck can pick you the fuck up, bitch? So, <laughs> I'm telling you all, Rihanna was the last gummy bear. <laughs> Look. So, what she's, what she's saying, right? I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to her. So, she put that post up. I'm like, whatever. they like, Lady Nigga Live. I really don't like, again, that's another, um. I just can't get into it. It'd be boring and shit, right? I don't got time for the whoa, you know what I did? Like, I just, I'm just see through the bullshit of all these motherfuckers on here, and I just, that's how I feel. So, Brianna comes up there, and she goes at QI. She's bringing up QI's deceased parent. She's bringing up Brianna's deceased grandma. Like, just going, like, on some mean shit, talking to QI as if QI is her same motherfucker size, on some bully shit. And that shit irritated the fuck out of me because I knew what she was doing because she feel fucked up about her fucking self. And, and, and Brianna, QI is correct. You are a projector. You're a projector. You're not happy. You don't look at... Listen. That Timu shit, bitch, you can't even win. Show us when you watch the shit two times. Then do your fucking pictures and all that. They fucking lying to you. You see no difference in you. And the surgery after fucking losing that weight is going to be fucking crazy. Bro, you're going to have whole fucking... You're going to be like a bat out this motherfucker under the arms. And you're going to be in your 30s. Yeah, and still, you try to say, get a, 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 get a um, fucking... You see it? 
get a, a glass of water out your house, bitch. How about I get a fucking plate of food out your fucking stomach? Do we know where, you know where the fuck the, where the fuck the part would be at, Brianna? The multiple choice part. Which part of your stomach would I get it from? Because there's seven of them hoes over there. So, like, you know that shit don't make you feel the fuck good. You just like putting other people down so that you can make yourself feel and look better. And everything that you did, you, yeah, you, you have made the initiative. And you are putting in the work of going into the gym. You are putting up 45. What's up? <laughs> hey, Miss Coffee. I gave you that. But every time you put somebody down, when you come from that gym, when you talk shit about chat rap, when you talk shit about fucking uppity nigga, when you talk shit about these fucking people, me, whoever, that work just go out the fucking door. Everything everything you put forth goes a whole nother direction. Hey, Nini, go, goes a whole nother direction. You fuck it up. You see it in your shadow? Brianna, you the sneakiest person on here. Because guess what, Brianna? There is a lot of tea of you behind the scene. Because there's no way in the world I should know anything about anybody that you was dealing with, about their kids fathers in jail, just getting out of jail, not wanting to be with them. How would I know that? How would the person know that? If what? If you haven't been snaking them behind the fucking scene. See, PC's not the only person that you snake the fuck over here. I mean, you can kick, or, or his wife. You can kick all that. You know, everything is open, you a liar. Y'all all into some fucked up shit. Lady Nika, you too. There's only so many fucking receipts on you. And if that receipt really came to fuck out, what was really on that motherfucking email? I don't know what was on the email, but I could just fucking imagine. Enough to make you tell on yourself. And had to do a free me chair Harriet on Tubman's speech. Hey, fuck out of here. So, this is why I don't like them. I'm just exactly why I don't like them. They lie to people. They try to play this, they the cool girl, this and that. And all these fat hoes do is talk about food all day on the fucking live. Hey, Super Jack. Hey, boo. So, you